Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to go over the acceleration for Carl Lewis for the different periods during his run. What we're going to do is be using the acceleration formula, which of course is acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. And delta anything always means V final minus initial. So V final minus V initial over T final minus T initial. So now we have our formula that we'll be using and all we really have to do is plug in the values for each of the sections to estimate the accelerations for each of those. So for A, we have the final velocity is, let's see, it's five and a half, so a little more than five, so we'll say 5.5 meters per second. The A section is pretty easy because his initial is just zero, so zero meters per second, divided by the T final, which is not quite one, so let's say 0 0.9 seconds minus the initial, which we just talked about is zero seconds, so 5.5 divided by 0.9 gives us 6.1 meters per second squared. Okay, so now we have the acceleration for the first section. Let's go ahead and do section B. So in section B, his final velocity is, let's see, that's a little more than 9. So we'll say... 9.3. I know that seems really arbitrary. I'm trying to stick close to the book's numbers so you don't get um, any wrong answers on Mastering Solutions. I would have said, you know, like nine and a half, but that's what they went with. So we'll stick to it. So 9.3 meters per second. And then we're going to minus the initial, which we just found was 5.5 meters per second. Let's see, it's not quite half, so 2.4 seconds minus the initial, which we said was 0 0.9 seconds. 9.3 minus 5.5 divided by 2.4 minus 0.9. Okay, so 2.5. is the acceleration for part B. And lastly, let's do C. So C, we have the final velocity is 10.9 meters per second minus 9.3, we said. And then this one is three and a half seconds minus 2.4 seconds. Okay, so 10.9 minus 9.3 divided by 3.5 minus 2.4. Okay, so we have 1.4545, so let's just round that to 1.5. So 1.5 meters per second squared for the acceleration for the last one. Okay, so here are your answers for section A, B, and C for the acceleration for each of those sections by the Olympic sprinter, Carl Lewis.